guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 4 of the Healthful Fox and Ghost on. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <gasps> oh god. We know so. Oh. There he is, damn. Oh. You know what I really hate? When you brush your teeth and then you drink something. Because see, we all know orange juice is the worst thing because I just brushed my teeth for the second time today. And this? I don't know. And then watch, I'm still going to drink it. Yeah, like, can't you just call in sick? Well, yes, yeah, some people do have it worse than you, but you can't call in sick. Uh, mm. Set, like, three alarms. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Yeah, you can't just love him. <laughs> I don't think she's got this, like, honestly. Oh. He's okay. Just tired. You better wake him up tomorrow, I swear to God. Did you wake him up? Hmm. Unfortunately, yes, he needs to be woke. Cody, get from under the bed. Like, 
Wake up. Me. No, when we say five minutes, we mean like one more hour. I do it too, every morning. Yes, wake up. <laughs> My baby. You should. You have to go to work. Oh my God, Senko, you're going to get him fired. Oh my God. Wait! Oh God. Oh my god. He, oh my god, he's gonna get fired. He's gonna get in trouble. Mm hmm. Yeah, what time is it? A long ass time. Oh, she did. Okay, girl man, I just like a little baby. Cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. You say that, but no. We set three alarms. Three. <laughs> but we all rely on our cell phones. That's what we do. What else is supposed to wake you up? I mean, okay. How many people actually naturally wake up without a phone or anything wake them up? Like, I can't. Mm. After I've listened to my alarm a couple of times, and yeah. But, like, I can't go to sleep and naturally kind of wake up at, like, whatever time. Mm-hmm.
I mean, isn't isn't that a little cheating though? You know, just because you've been using it for eight hundred years, babe, you never know. <laughs> he under the bed. That's where he likes to be. <laughs> Sunny air, I wish it was raining. I don't think she can do that. Yeah, the air conditioner. Just don't make it like too, too cold or too, too hot. Oh, God. This thing, what the fuck? <laughs> You don't like the sound? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's typical with dogs. I don't know about cats. But it's mostly so you can do less work, honey. <laughs> no, you won't say that. <laughs> You're not gonna say like that. Mm-hmm. Add yeah, detergent. Huh. What did she just do? Oh, oh! <gasps> Good job! Because you looked directly at it. It's done already. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> I love her. She's so traditional. Please don't burn the house. Yeah, because you use the dial and adjust it. <laughs> My mom wants one of those. Maybe I'll buy one for her. How much do you have? Damn. Oh God, she's going to burn the rice. Oh my God. <laughs> no. I'll come home and be like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so traumatized. What didn't happen to her? Let's just say that. Yeah, just gotta turn it back on. Yeah. Because we used too much electricity at once. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Oh, honey. Oh, no, no. It's fine.
<laughs> Why am I about to cry? The hell? Damn. <laughs> so let me guess, you're going to send someone else down there to help her. I told you. So now we're going to have Micah from Glenis, Archer from the Fate series, and then whoever this voice actor is going to be in one damn house. A small ass apartment. Oh my God. I feel so bad for her because, I mean, at least she wanted to clean. And make food for him by using, you know, regular old technology instead of cheating her way through it. But no, it sometimes doesn't work that way. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, what he should have done is he, like, before he went to work, just showed her the ins and outs. Okay, this is how you use the soap. This is the right way to wash, like, clothes. This is the right way how to use the rice cooker, and, da -da -da -da, and so forth. And this is how you can maybe, like, not use the freaking vacuum at max capacity. <laughs> but, <laughs> of course, you know, he's so busy with the work that he probably doesn't have time to help her. And because she wants to be this independent woman child <laughs> and do it on her own, you know, she just doesn't want help. And she decided to lay in the hard way. It was cute, though. And then, you know, Having him get some sleep. That's a good thing. You need to get sleep. Be like freaking Morgana in Persona 5. Get your ass to bed and go to sleep. And you wake up tomorrow with the damn cat. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, he ain't gonna go take a little shower or anything. He gonna go right to bed. <laughs> oh, I can't. See, I don't have that. I have a dog that likes to push at my back during the night. Like, oh my god. Me and Cody, like, sometimes by the end of this, me and Cody gonna be fighting. Not fist fighting, but we're going to be fighting with our words. I'm going to be, like, talking to him. He's going to bark at me, and then I'm just going to be like, mm-hmm. Is it weird now that I kind of want to take a nap? Like, that sounds so good right now. But, like, yeah. I mean, honestly, if you had, like, something nice, smooth, and calm soothing and calming, I mean, having a pet really, like, when you pet them and stuff, it's very relaxing and makes you sleep. But, like, this little dog right here, he be over here, and, like, I, like, he gives me, th this is the big, how big the bed is, and this is my side, and then this is his side, and I look at this dog, like, what the freak are you doing, man? Like, you are this small little ass dog, and you have more room than me. I give you more room than I give myself. I, I love him so much, though. Cody, it, Cody's just weird. He's weird. <laughs> But now since we're having another fox girl be in this apartment and try to get away in his darkness, which I don't really think is going to work because Cinco, she's trying her best. Let's, let's say that. But like having this new girl, I really feel like she's going to do maybe the same amount as Cinco. And then eventually the woman who is there watching Cinco, she's going to have to come. And then all three of them, plus the man. It's going to be in this damn house. And then, you know, her his neighbor is going to come knock on the door and be like, well, you shut up. And then she's going to see 
all three of these Fox girls in one apartment with this man. <laughs> and then he's just gonna be like, no, it's okay, because she's 800, she's maybe like, what, a thousand, and she's like 20,000 years old, so it's fine. That's okay. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see you next week. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 4 of the Helpful Fox senko Sun. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad, and of course, I will see you guys all officially next Wednesday for episode 5. Bye, guys!